as a chair. I've fallen and had a stick up my ass. That was the first time in a hammock. Pretty impressed and pretty pleased. It was comfortable. Right, Stimpy's gonna have a go on the hammock. I'll show him what to do. Let's see if he can do it. Because he ain't doing it now. I told him what to do and he's still not doing it. I told you to pull it under to your, to your knees. Pull it under to your knees. Pull it up behind you, high. Pull it up, don't push it down, that's it. That's it, get your arms in. Biggie in the hammock. Comfortable? Yeah, I'd like to see for my stomach though, so I'd prefer a tent. What brought me about a bit, Biggie? Well, I don't want to stress it because bouncing on it puts well, weight to it. You've got to test it. You've got to test it. See, I don't want to stress it. You've got to have this sort of movement anyway with your funny stuff in it. I swear it's pulling away the carabiners as it is. 22 stone of weight. Well, it's going to have to have a sleeping bag in it, isn't it? Yeah. What's it look like with me in it? Yeah, it's all right. Well, the mosquito, it's upside down at the moment. The mosquito net would go in it, um, the other way around. So I'm trying to get out. Well, you have to, aren't you? That's it, now sit up. That's it. It's a chair now. Pull that thing up behind you, you can lean back in it. If you pull up the back of it, Set up. Looks like he's got a fire going over there. Need to do some more work on the tarp, but I didn't bring any um, pegs, so I've just made a few. But I think I'll just bring some good pegs next time four, five, six. Got a fire going, a eh? suspended fire. Yeah, good on you. First fire you've made, isn't it? A long time, yeah. Cool. This tarp is pretty camouflage, I have to say. This is the DD Multicam, 2015 new one. 
the hammock is a snug pack jungle hammock. The reason I bought that is because it's a lot cheaper than the DD and it's got a higher weight limit because I'm heavy and I would have been pushing limits on the DD hammocks. This has got 180 kilo limit and if I've got all my gear in there, <clears throat> like bag and anything to keep me warm, I need a bit more weight capacity. This is just running straight off paracord. That's what came with it. I'm changing all that to proper tree huggers and I'm gonna get some whoopee slings. <clears throat> I changed the original net hanger to um, shock cord. So there's no chance of me ripping or damaging the net. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Nice area in the woods this, you've got a nice clearing. The only thing is there's a motorcycle track a couple of miles away, you can hear it. You know, a scrambler track. But they're not there all the time. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Thanks for watching. Right, sitting in the hammock. This is the view from inside. Look, don't block the camera. Let's see if I can get in it. I've made a handle for the zip because I know I won't better reach it when I'm in because I'm a fat man. Don't forget, I've never had a hammock, so bear with me. Right, let's see that zip. That works. Zip myself up. Shove this out. Yeah. Things are creaking and cracking, but I'm assuming it's just tensioning on the ropes and stuff. Like I say, what I've done, I've bought some um, seat belt material, which you have in your car, the big straps, so I can make some tree hoggers. And it's exactly the same as seatbelt, and it'll hold 2,700 kilos. So I'm sure that'll hold me. And then I'm getting whoopee slings that hold a similar sort of weight, well, a lot of weight. And then the only weak part really is the hammock. And if that's designed to be strong, I think I'll be all right. If it isn't, then I might be going down. But yeah, I'm pleased. I am pleased. It's comfortable. It's a bit cold on the back, but I haven't got a bag in here or anything, so we'll find out. We'll find out. Put the windshield on now. Give it that little, sort of that little breeze. Hi, Dad.